Hi, I'm Stephen Miller, and I'm the Academic Programs Leader for Analytics Group at IBM. And I'm here today with Richard Derbsell from Derby University. And he's been coming to this conference now like three, four times. And the start of it was Big Data and Analytics EdCon. So how did you hear about Big Data and Analytics EdCon, and why did you come to that first one? Well, my boss found the advert for it and said, you better go out there because I'm kind of leading the uh, analytics yeah. program development. Okay. And so there I was. All right. And you came to that first one, and the next year you were a co-chair? That's right, with Aisha Bennett. Yeah, and the following year you were basically chair with the uh, lead chair. Yeah, with um, yeah. Kathy Bateland from yeah. CSU. And now we're, you're planning on doing another one, and it'll be at your own university in January. That's correct, yes. We're, yeah. we're wanting to do that one very specially. Okay. Yeah, and when you think about, you know, th th this is now like the fourth one, and you told me you're already planning the fifth, right? Yeah, why, why, why are you so motivated to, to be so involved and to keep this conference alive and, and going? Because it, what we've done so far has been very, very interesting in terms of developing approaches. And I want to use the next one in January in Derby as a way of kind of bringing out new initiatives, new innovative yeah. ways of getting the students to learn. Okay. And um, so it's going to be a, a, a typical academic conference with a call for papers. Yeah. And it, what are you looking for differently when you're reviewing those papers? What do, you, what do you want to see this year that you haven't seen before? In terms of the papers from the academics, I really want to focus on innovative ways of teaching okay. and learning, new ways of getting them involved, new ways of assessment which force the assessment of okay. soft skills rather right. than just pure technical skills. Okay. Yeah, that's wonderful. And you've already said that you've got an advanced plan to do another one in, I guess, in uh, Melbourne? Yeah, um, we're trying to set it up in Deakin University in Melbourne okay. in about July. Wow, yeah. So this is really one of the hot topics that I'm involved with, right? Everybody I talk to from industry, from schools, they're under tremendous pressure to increase the supply of talent. And it's slow going, right? It's slow going, and probably the most important reason it's slow going is we're not getting these applications. Okay. High school is not getting the students so, so sensitized to the idea of analytics, the interesting right. aspects of uh, data. Yeah, but that takes us to a lo longer conversation for a future interview about data literacy and the importance of doing that in high school. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so when, when are the papers due for this conference? Um, around about late um, November, about 19th of November, and then we'll make the okay. decision by the last week of November. Okay, awesome. And yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to another successful EdCon and continuing collaboration with you. Thank you. Thanks very much, then, Steve. All right.